Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some more news to go over about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. A user on Reddit has found something interesting about the Union Room in the Generation 4 remakes. We have an update on the Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Premium service coming soon and a few other things to take a look at as well. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in in today's video subscribe if you're brand new for daily pokemon content ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off let's take a look at what a reddit user has found on pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearls union room so it was tweeted out from paseo harem i really hope i got that name right i do apologize if i did not but shout out to this person for finding out this information um, i think this is a screenshot just taken from the website because i don't remember it being in any of the trailers especially when they were kind of promoting the union room as well uh, but anyway uh, it says, in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, record mixing makes a comeback with a new option for ball seals. So if you don't know what record mixing is, there's actually a pretty good description of it here on Bulbapedia. And they say that record mixing is a, uh, a mechanism used to share information with other players that is only present in the Generation 3 and Generation 4 games. It influences certain aspects of regular gameplay, such as television shows, secret bases, and the water tiles where Wild Feebas are located. So yeah, it's just, I guess, is going to be used quite a bit for the underground because of secret bases and stuff like that. But Ball Seals also now seems to be something added to the record mixing. So I don't know if you're going to be able to kind of trade ball seals or something like that with other people or just take a look at what they have and see how to get those certain seals or not but there's basically a description of it here so uh, they also translated it saying the translated text from top to bottom so it has battle exchange record greet ball seals and then exit pretty cool to see an old mechanic return uh, and then we'll record place the battle recorder in the pt uh, and then we have more people kind of talking about it saying, wait, can you change your avatar in the union room? Uh, which you could always do, um, I'm pretty sure. And then they go on to say, uh, you could do that in the original game too, with obviously the character customization. And then it says, uh, that's so cool. I hope they let you use your friend's name on the TV if you mix records with them. That would be pretty cool. Then it says, nothing beats how they did it in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, where you could mix records and then go to your friend's secret base and actually battle them as NPCs with full XP. I seriously hope that they bring something like that back. That would be so awesome. That would be really, really cool, especially with like hideaways and stuff like that. Now you can go to other people's secret bases and like just the underground is online now. Imagine being able to have like your NPC as a friend and it has their team that, you, that they had when you like ch uh, change records and stuff. That'd be such a cool feature and I would love that to be back in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, so there's a little old lady is so cute. Also, they're using one of the newer breeder designs. It seems rather than the old one. Also, I don't really remember all the designs, so I'm sure that that were probably already known. I just know that it's not the same design as it is in Gen 4. So just talk about, obviously, the different characters and stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of excited for this feature. Um, it, it's nothing like crazy crazy but if they do implement the whole like npc friends uh in secret bases and stuff then i think it could be really really good uh especially because they've incorporated ball seals into it now um so i think i think there's like 80 ball seals and then of course there's obviously the different like animations that play with like heavy balls and friend balls and low balls and everything like that so personally what i think is it would just give you information on how to get that specific ball seal i don't think you'd be able to trade ball seals because maybe there's like unique ones that you can only get after beating like gym leaders and stuff like that um so you wouldn't be able to get them back otherwise um but yeah it's a nice little bit of information and a big shout out to uh paseo Rain for finding out that information on brilliant diamond shine pearl so anyway next up uh we have this that i wanted to go over uh, and it is a tweet from centro who of course is a leaker online. A lot of people don't believe in them though, but they put up something interesting that tries to kind of, I don't know, give them a little bit more legitimacy for when the games drop. So uh, this was tweeted out from Adry8 and they said, I know they are mostly full of crap, but anyone knows what this means. So Centro tweeted out saying SHA256 hash, uh, hash of the full message and then a load of numbers. And then so people don't claim it was a lucky guess when it's revealed. So this lucky guess, I don't know what they're referring to. I'm not sure if they're talking about the 20 new Pokemon that they state is going to happen. They also went on a massive tangent about how like people aren't going to be happy with these games, which they said last time as well. 
but the games look really, really good. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, we have a nice little Jake uh, joke from here. Central Elite's post and action replay codes now. Very good. Uh, but anyway, we actually have some information about it. So, um, this person here says, uh, I dislike Centro as much as anybody else, but you are wrong here. They have stated that it is a SHA256 hash. So when they reveal the message, anyone can get the hash of the message and see if it matches this. So people do have the ability to verify if this is legit or not. SHA256 is an open standard uh, hashing algorithm. So basically what this means is when... Um, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl drop, or Legends Arceus, whichever one they're referring to with this tweet, people are going to be able to take a look at the code and then basically find out if Centro Leaks is full of BS or not, really. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a bit of an interesting one um, to see if he's, uh, if they are actually right or not, because they've been so wrong about so many things in the past. Uh, especially, oh, they got memed as well with the whole Animal Crossing thing. Like someone posted an Animal Crossing leak, uh, which was about Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl on, I think, this Reddit, and Centro tweeted it out saying, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl leak. So <laughs> they obviously don't know a lot about the game. So it'll be interesting. I think this is make or break for Centro. If this is all false, then it's just kind of GG's in the chat forum. But yeah, um, we're also going to go over something that they spoke about tomorrow um, because like a news article wrote about it and everything, but it's, it's interesting. Finishing things up though, we have some Nintendo 64 stuff to talk about. So if you don't know what I'm referring to here, uh, Nintendo Switch Online is bringing Nintendo 64 games to the Switch. Uh, you have to buy a premium service but you can play all of the old Nintendo 64 games and they're online as well so like Mario Kart will be online um I don't really know what the Nintendo 64 games that could be that they would bring online maybe Mario Tennis um maybe Diddy Kong Racing because Diddy Kong Racing is apparently coming to the the Switch as well as this Nintendo 64 thing but anyway uh this was a post on Nintendo Everything will be linked in the description down below as always and they say despite speculation to the contrary Nintendo 64 games for Nintendo Switch Online won't be forced to run at 50hz in Europe and will instead support a smoother preferable 60hz so fans have been uh, concerned about how Nintendo 64 titles, that was an awful pronunciation of that sentence, let me try that again, uh, fans have concerned about how Nintendo 64 titles will be, I can't speak, how they would be presented on the console following the most recent Nintendo Direct. In the presentation, European uh, PAL footage was shown to announce the news. Nintendo 64 games in North America have always ran at 60HZ uh, back in the day, which was the preferable option since the 50HZ versions can leave a slower experience and different screen size. However, Nintendo has now come out with an official statement confirming that every single Nintendo 64 game on Switch Online can be played in 60HZ. Uh, is it hurts? I don't even know. Furthermore, some titles will have option to play the original European PAL version with language options. So this is their official statement. Nintendo have been making quite a few statements. Like, the whole company has recently. Like, Nintendo came out and spoke about the Nintendo Switch OLED and the apparent Nintendo Switch Pro, which they said was fake. They've come out and spoke about this. Game Freak came out and spoke about Legends Arceus, how it's not open world. So there's been a lot of, um, kind of, I don't know, just statements being made from these big companies. But anyway, they're going to say all Nintendo 64 games included with Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack can be played in 60HZ English language versions. Select games will also have the option to play the original European PAL version with language options. Nintendo Switch Online will kick off its Expansion Pack program later this month, which will add Nintendo 64 classics as well as games from the Sega Genesis. We have the full list of all the confirmed releases thus far here. So yeah, if you want to see what the games are, these are all the games that are coming at launch. Um, so Dr. Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Mario Tennis, Sin and Punishment, Star Fox 64, Super Mario 64, Ocarina of Time, Win Back, Yoshi Story, and then these are coming to uh, the Nintendo Switch Online service soon. Uh, Banjo Kazooie, Custom Robo uh, V2, Custom Robo Japan, both of them Japan, F Zero, Kirby 64, Mario Gold, Paper Mario, Pokemon Snap, and then Majora's Mask. But it has been leaked as well that Diddy Kong Racing is also coming as well as another game. I'm just really hoping that we see Pokemon Stadium confirmed very, very soon. And then the Sega Genesis games, uh, Castlevania, uh, Hard Corps, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Echo the Dolphin, Golden Axe, Gunstar Heroes, Musha, Fantasy Star, Ristar, Shining Force, Chernobyl 2, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Streets of Rage 2, and then Strider. So yeah, they're all the, um, the games.
games that will be coming to the Switch online that we know about anyway. But that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. I really, really do appreciate it. Let's try and crush 500 likes. What are your thoughts on everything we've gone over today? What Nintendo 64 game do you really, really want to see come to Switch online? What are your thoughts on this whole record mixing thing? Um, I, I'm, I'm quite hopeful for it. Like, there's just putting in these little mini features and like they're kind of going unnoticed but this could be like massive like being able to fight your friends as npcs in your secret base that'd be like huge that'd be so cool i'd love that to happen uh, but yeah that's everything from me subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell thank you for watching have a fantastic rest of your monday and until next time peace